guys, welcome back to Wixfix. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, in today's video, I'm only gonna show you how to let your users add reviews if you only have a single product on your website. In the future, I'd like to make a tutorial on how to let your users leave reviews on a multi-product e-commerce website. I'd also like to make a tutorial to make sure your users are logged in and they've actually purchased that product. If you are interested in those tutorials, be sure to like this video to let me know that you're interested. But let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So for this video, I'm just using a Wix template that looks really nice and clean, and it's for this watch. Now this is the only product on the actual website, so it's gonna work really well with this example. But let's go ahead and go to the product page. The first thing that I want to do is have a strip. Let's go ahead and make this quite large. Let's make it around like 800 pixels high, just like that. And let's go ahead and remove the background. Now I'm not really gonna focus on design as much. I'm just gonna focus mostly on the functionality. But let's go ahead and add some text right here. That's gonna say reviews, okay? Next, let's go ahead and come down to the add button. We'll go to list. Let's go ahead and bring out a blank repeater. Now for these repeater items, I want them to be a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and set them to 225. Inside the repeater, what I want to do is add an image. So we'll come down to image. We'll just grab something from the stock library. Let's go ahead and shrink it down quite a bit and stick it inside the repeater. Now for this example, I do just want to add like a circular frame, something like that. Okay, next let's go ahead and add some text. So this one will be the name of the review, of the reviewer, I should say, reviewer's name. Next let's go ahead and add a paragraph field right here. We'll expand it out a little bit like that. And this will be their actual review. Which I'm actually gonna bring this down quite a little bit like that. And then we're gonna come over to input, which if you do not see input, then you need to enable dev mode. Sometimes input, this input option in the add panel is hidden until you activate dev mode. So if you don't see that, activate dev mode and you'll see it. And then I'm gonna come over to input ratings and we're gonna to go to ratings display. And we're just gonna go ahead and bring something out like this. And we're gonna remove both the rating value and the number of ratings. That way we're just left with the stars. And basically that is it. But now we need a place for all of this content to actually be stored. We don't want to come in here and manually add the reviews. So what we're gonna do is come over to Content Manager. We're gonna create a new collection and we're gonna call this one Reviews. And for now, we can go ahead and leave the collection as site content and press create. Now it's gonna open up the spreadsheet for our reviews. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is go ahead and hide the publish date and hide the draft date. Then I'm gonna press this little plus icon and I'm gonna say reviewer's name. Okay, now I'm gonna click the reviewer name and make this primary. And I'm gonna go ahead and click title and delete this one. The next thing I want to do is have the reviewer have an image and we're gonna set the field type to an image. The next field that I want to add is their actual review, which this is just gonna be left as text. And the last thing I want to add is their rating, which this field type is gonna be set to number. And we're gonna press save. Now that we have our collection, now we actually need to connect this repeater and all of its content to our collection. So we're gonna come up to add, go down to content manager, and we're gonna add a data set to the page. Now you're gonna see this little icon right here. If we click on the settings, now we can connect this data set icon to our reviews database right here. Here, we can set the number of reviews to display. I feel like most websites show three to six different reviews at a time. So let's just do six. And if we come down all the way down to the bottom, we can also set a sort. A lot of websites either do new to old or they will do the rating high to low. That way it's only showing the best reviews. So for this example, let's just do high to low and press add. Now that we have our dataset icon connected, now we need to connect all of these different 
elements inside of our repeater to this data set. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select this image. We're gonna press this connected data icon. And then it's gonna say, do you wanna to connect to the reviews data set, which is this right here. And we're gonna say the image connects to the reviewer image. Next, let's go ahead and click the reviewer's name. We're gonna connect this to data and we're gonna connect this to the reviewer name. We're gonna select this ratings display. We're going to connect this one to the rating number. And lastly, but not least, we are going to connect this text to their actual review. Alrighty, so now we have it properly set up. However, we don't have a place quite yet for them to actually leave the review. So the first thing we're gonna to do to set that up is we're gonna come over to add, we're gonna to go to button, and let's just drag out one of the site buttons. And we'll put it right here. We're gonna change the text to leave a review. We'll make it a little bigger so it doesn't look so squished. But now we need to link it to something. This can go to a page or even a light box. For this example, let's go ahead and do a light box. So we're gonna do a light box. If you don't have any set up, you're gonna see an option to create one. If you already have a light box on your website, you can either select one of them that already have a form on there, or you should be able to create a new one. If you can't create a new one from here, all you have to do is go to add, go to interactive, and go down to light boxes. Watch here, you'll have plenty of different things that you can edit which for this one, let's just choose this one right here. And we're gonna go ahead and delete all of the content inside of it. And for this background, let's just go ahead and add a background overlay, something similar to the website like this. So if we think about what is shown in the reviews, we have an image, we have their name, we have their rating and their actual review. So we're gonna need inputs for each one of those. So the first thing we're gonna do is come over to add. We're gonna go down to inputs. We're gonna come over to the top. We're just gonna drag out one of these inputs. So this would be for their name. We need a text box for their actual review. We're gonna need an upload button so that they can upload their profile picture. And then we're also gonna need them to leave a rating. So we're gonna go down to ratings and we're gonna say rate us. So again, I'm not really gonna to focus too much on the design. I say that as I'm focusing on the design. And the last thing we really need here is a button. So we'll drag out this button and we're gonna change the text to submit review. So now we have this kind of makeshift light box right here, but if the user was to fill this out and press submit, nothing would happen as of right now. So what we need to do is actually connect this form to our database. So in order to do that, we're gonna come up to add content manager. And for this one, we're going to form data set. Now let's go ahead and press settings. We're gonna connect this to reviews. We're gonna make sure that the mode is set to write only. And now we can go ahead and start connecting these to our database. So this one is for the name. So we're gonna connect this one to our viewer name. This is their actual review. So we're gonna connect this one to their review. This upload file, we're gonna press settings and make sure that the supported file is image. And we're gonna connect this one to the reviewer image. And then this writing, we are going to connect this one, well, to the rating. Then let's select this button, press connect to data. When the user clicks it, we want it to submit. And if you want to, you could add a success message like this. That way the users know that the review has been submitted. The only other thing left to do is to make sure that this leave a review button is actually connected to our review form light box. Something I forgot to mention is we actually need to change site content to custom use. Now, once we set it to custom use, it's gonna let us set custom permissions. 
So now it's gonna give us the permissions. Who can read the content from this collection? We want this to be anyone. Who can create the content from this selection? We want it to be anyone for this. Who can update the content for the selection? For this collection, we want it to be set to admin. And who can delete content from this collection? It's also gonna be set to admin. Now let's go ahead and press save all changes. We're gonna go ahead and press save, and we're also going to press publish. But now let's go ahead and visit the site. Let's go to the buy now product page. And if we scroll down, we're gonna notice that we don't have any reviews quite yet. So let's go ahead and press leave a review. Okay, next I'm gonna press submit review. It's gonna show us the little confirmation and it's gonna take us back to our page. Now if I refresh the page, we're gonna see the review that I created. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Wix content coming out really soon. Also, be sure to give this video a like and comment down below if you'd like to see my other tutorials for leaving reviews on specific products and making sure that they are a member on your website that has actually purchased that product. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.